Well, it's all the hits Z100. We are honored to have Carrie and Fred from Portlandia in the building. Woo! All right. I love doing interviews um, in studio, and lo I love to see if uh, the people I'm interviewing clap for themselves. Because it, sometimes it's really awkward because I'll start clapping. It's right. just kind of my normal interview start. Sometimes I'll just sit there. And I'm the only dude clapping, and I feel like a douche. No, I, I, I consider it applauding the audience, because I think in a live situation, I, I like applauding the audience. Yeah, and also, I didn't want to leave you hanging. Though. Thank you. You had my back, and that, yeah. see, we've gotten off to we a great start. We I love it. We clapping for ourselves. We were just <laughs> clapping, because it's like that auto response when someone else is it's clapping. It's a party. It's a party. I love it. I love it. You know what else is an auto response I've found? Have, like, two or three people in a crowded place start running. I guarantee you other people will start running, too. Oh, yeah. Just two or three people on the sidewalk, just all of a sudden, just people. I would run. I would run. That's, there's a small sense of paranoia there. Right? I've seen there also is. in New York, people just like, if a group of four people are sort of looking up at something and squinting. Yeah. Not, not in a touristy way. I'm always like, what is up? What's going on up there? But then it ends up being a touristy thing. And then it's nothing. I'm not <laughs> looking at anything. So, um... First of all, thank you guys so much for coming in. Oh, our pleasure. Yeah. We love the show Portlandia. We just can't get enough of it. I think before we get into like before we get into like the kind of how how the show got started because I kind of want to talk about that, but something that even before I found out you guys were coming in, something that I always wondered having watched the show from season 1 and and now the season 2 is starting here in a couple uh, a week next week, right? Mm -hmm. I get it. Anyone who's spent a considerable amount, a considerable amount of time in Portland gets it. Mm -hmm. But this is a national show. What was it? What's the response been from people in Chicago or New York or Miami? Because we all get it. We all know how accurate it is. You know, I found a new way to answer this question. Because you get it every interview, don't no, you? No, 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 no. It's a good question. But this is what I realized: The Wire, one of my favorite shows. Uh -huh. You don't have to have grown up in like an impoverished gang ridden section of Baltimore to love the wire. True. And true. I've, I've never had to go to outer space to love Battlestar Galactica. So I think if you write a show that people can relate to because it tells a story or it has characters that you enjoy, you know, yeah. some time with, then it the show becomes universal. And we've definitely found that that people all over the place relate to the show. Do you find that people come up and tell you that they're dying to see Portland and see if it's really like how you guys yeah, uh, we met people who. Uh, one guy said he moved here because of the show. Really? Really? Yeah, that's awesome. No, I did not know that. I don't know if I believe him, or, <laughs> you know, but like he did say it. He was just like, "That's awesome." So I was doing I was doing my research a little bit, and I was watching uh, you, on your website. You guys have like a little behind the scenes uh, inside Portlandia, and I found it interesting how you two hooked up. You were both fans as musicians of the other person. Mm -hmm. And you kind of explain how that worked exactly. I mean, I was obsessed with Sleater Kinney. And we had mutual friends more mm -hmm. than anything. And we just kind of knew all the same people and just ended up instantly, you know, getting along. So it, I can't imagine, it, you know, the course of over the course of uh, having an idea to having an actual television show on a network is a very easy thing to get from step A to step B because a million people have ideas how, how how did it go from being an idea and I know you guys worked on um was it, uh I'm sorry remind me the name of the, oh, Thunder, the Ant. Thunder, Thunder Ant. Ant from that to actually becoming an actual television show that's on a network how did, I mean explain the process well I I think as with anything there's a small element of luck and timing I mean we had accumulated about 10 or 11 videos online under the moniker Thunder Ant. And we felt like we wanted to be a little more ambitious and intentional about it. So we, we made a pitch and we, we brought it to Broadway Video, which is Lorne Michaels' production company. Right. And um, But at the same time, IFC was kind of rebranding itself as um, a network that was going to focus on original programming. Mm -hmm. and they were going to focus on comedy. So we kind of came in right at the time that they were looking for something like our show. So that, I think, has... I mean, a, the process is, is hard, and I think a lot of... We realized later how lucky we were because we know, yeah, a million people have been working on pitches over and over again, writing pilots, and it was just a lot a lot of timing and a lot of just meeting with the right people. IFC just got it right away. That's awesome. That's awesome. Something else that I, I noticed in that, uh, that behind-the-scenes video, you guys describe Portland as almost like the third main character and and that's so true to me because it's such like portland is such the dynamic 
of you two would be so weird anywhere else. I mean, obviously the show is called Portlandia, so that would be totally weird. But it, it really, it really makes the city part of the show, and I love that. Um, so you grew up around here, not here though, correct? Right in Redmond, Washington, which is a suburb of Seattle. Okay, and then you spent a good chunk of your life here in Portland. Mm-hmm. I've lived here for a decade now. And Fred, you you've never lived here, but you just kind of yeah, and you just up, dig it. Yeah, being here a lot, but. I'm from New York. Originally. Right on. Yeah. Something, uh, w- one of the sketches that you guys did, um, sorry about that. One of the sketches you guys did uh, touched very close to my heart. It, it was the DJ night mm-hmm. because I, I've lived in Portland for two years and every single person I've ever met in Portland has a DJ night. It, it, you guys are so on point. As a matter of fact, I a couple people in this room have a DJ night yeah. and about 15 people who work in this building have DJ nights. I don't know what it is about this town. Everybody thinks they're a DJ. Yeah, we were actually, Fred flew out here for a couple days um, in the spring before we started officially writing. And we just wanted to kind of brainstorm. We were sitting at this coffee shop in Northeast on Alberta. And I walked out of the restroom and I'm just like, what? There is a DJ in this coffee shop. What is going on? Like, this is a Sunday afternoon. And we just started talking about it, how constantly like our inbox email inbox or facebook was just like oh hey by the way i'm djing and this night and that night and friends of ours yeah just friends that you know it's it's not anything like official or grand it's not like two giant turntables it's just somebody with like an ipod you know list or like a couple crates of 45s or like you know djing like (laughs) mixtapes and it was anyway so then um yeah so we that piece kind of stemmed from there i was at the uh i was at the mall the day before christmas uh and uh the buckle had a DJ in the window, like, and he was like decked out head to toe in like you know, affliction gear, and like he had sung. And this was nighttime. He had sunglasses on. He had his headphones on, and he was doing his thing. And I just, I'm just thinking to myself, this guy's standing in a window at a in a mall, thinking that he's in the middle of a club. How did? I don't know how he gets from point A to point B there, but uh, I just when I saw that, I was just cracked me up because literally everybody in this town is a DJ, which is just it's nuts. Um, Hotel lobbies everywhere. I mean, everywhere you go. I mean, like the guys like panhandling on the the entrance to the five have turntables. I yeah. feel you know. <laughs> um, so how much of the show is uh, how much of the show is improv? Because I feel like you guys are close friends, and when that happens, a lot of times. Do you, do you guys go? Do you guys have a, a set script? Do you guys have outlines or just ideas? All of it. We do have scripts um, to just get a structure. It's so much easier to improvise within like a map or a blueprint. So we know sort of the beginning, middle, and end roughly of where the story is going to go and who the characters are. But in terms of dialogue, that's mostly improvised. That's like ninety-five percent improvised. Just so it sounds more real. Yeah. It's just easier that way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I um, I went on Facebook and Twitter this morning, and I said I was going to have you guys here in the studio. And had, I, I always try to get a couple of listener questions, but there wasn't there wasn't a lot of substantive uh, stuff. A couple of uh, people want to marry you, Fred. Wow. Oh, that's and, cute. and people love to um, quote your lines on SNL or in movies. So I had somebody tell me that I needed to say, me scoozy, me scoozy. Oh, I mean... It's kind of old school. That's one of my favorite movies, by the way. Thanks. Euro Trip is just, I love that movie. Thanks a I lot. I love that movie. Um, but not a, lot of, not a lot of substance in the Twitter and, and Facebook questions. So um, talking about uh, SNL and, and, well, we weren't talking about SNL, but uh, I was ad libs. <laughs> that brought me back to SNL. Kind of a long circle. How do you, um, is, it, is it tough coming back and forth to, to do two shows on different sides of the coast, which are both... You know, both relative. I mean, you know, SNL is live, so you kind of got to work yeah. on their schedule, and it's not tough at all. Yeah, it's just <clears throat> it's really easy because the schedule works out. It's, yeah, that's you know through May, and and as soon as I'm done, I I come right over here for the summer. So you spend the summer here, and you and oh, yeah. so so season two is is complete. The mm-hmm. entire thing yeah, is complete. Finished it. Cool, cool, and so, and yeah, I just I just go back and forth. Mm-hmm. It's, it's an easy flight. What um what about this uh, this tour? Tell us about the. The Portland, are we calling it Portlandia Live? Is that what we're? Uh, sure. Yeah. Portland. Or, or is there a more clever name? I don't. I don't know. I didn't read I the press release that closely. Is it called yeah. Portlandia? There, there was a moment where there was there were some people brainstorming yeah. clever names, and we we decided to keep it modest. Yeah, keep it simple. Yeah. Um. It's kind of just. It's like a variety <laughs> show. It's it's not so much like 
the sketch show live. You mm-hmm. know, it's it's Fred and I on stage. We're going to play songs, show clips that people haven't seen from the upcoming season. Talk a little bit. Yeah, take questions, do some audience participation. It's and in each city we have different guests, mm-hmm. so it, it'll be it'll be unique in each city. Show videos. Mm-hmm. January um, January six is the season premiere of. The second season, mm-hmm. which you guys must be just ecstatic about, because this is this is just a fun thing for you guys, and now it's a multi-season television show, which has got to be pretty rad for you guys. Yeah. yeah, we feel really lucky. What can we What can we expect from season two? A lot of pickling, uh-huh. pickle jars, pickle jars, some uh, weddings. Oh yeah, there's a wedding. Yeah, some kids. There's there's more kids this season. Kids, because see, kids are like the antichrist in Portland. If there's, Pe- there's a way that they have been... You're not cool if you have kids in Portland. Oh, really? You're only no. cool if you have a well, dog in Portland. No. That's, we, 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 we touch on that. <laughs> yeah. No, we there's... talk about how what dads look like. Yeah. I love it. Because, I love it. Because over the summer, I, we noticed a lot of like sort of gray-haired, but tattooed <laughs> who Well, everybody's just tattooed. And, and we're like, that's like a new thing. Right. I love that, though. That's, that's so funny because... It, I come from the Midwest where if you don't have a kid by the time you're 24, something's wrong with you. And then moving out here where if you have a kid, you're not cool at all. Right. So I love that. I love that you guys are going to touch on that. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Wisconsin, Milwaukee, originally. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's a really nice city. Yeah. Love it. You guys, will, you guys will have some Milwaukee people when you do your Chicago show. Yeah, it's close by. So I've been up there a bunch. Give a shout out to Milwaukee. We will. Love it, love it, uh, Fred. You play two of my favorite characters on SNL. By the way, they're both on Weekend Update, right. and the one of them is the the Garth and Cat, right? Or is it Cat Garth? Yeah, and, Garth yeah. And, yeah. I gotta ask you. So, and this might be a secret of the trade, and you might not be willing to tell me. But so you're the one making up the songs, and Kristen Wiig is trying to keep up with you, yeah. correct? I I lead it. I start the song, and she just follows. She just and and you and that's total ad lib. You don't. Do you yeah. plan any of that? Yeah. Uh, no, we, we can't plan any of it. No. I, so I just got to ask like, you. So if you're looking at me, right? I, well, you know what I was going to ask you? Is I was going to ask you if we, we could about, do it. Yeah, ready? Should we do it? So, do you, you know that old song? That Z100 song? Right, yeah, the Z100 you know song. When we're, we're driving, driving along, along. When we're, we're driving along. along. The five, five yeah, not the four. four. It's going to be, be good. good. Good, good day. <laughs> and you're hired. Woo! I, I kept up better than I thought I would. Yeah. Who needs Kristen Wig? Isn't that that's a game that I would do to annoy my sister? Not singing, but she would when we would just get on each other's nerves. Yeah. She would start talking, and I would just do that to her. Yeah. It's a good way to get somebody to stop talking. It really is. It's like just stop talking. The um. That too, huh? Yeah. The other character I love, which the the name is 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 escaping me right now. The and you haven't done it this season, I don't think. The um the the guy who comes on and has very strong emotions about news, but oh, doesn't Nicholas actually Fane. say anything. Oh, Nicholas Fane, yeah. Yes, oh, he does like newspapers. He news the newspaper guy, and he you're like, well, you know, I, you know, I feel really strongly about. Ah, <sighs> see, when you look at it. I just I love it, dude. I'm, I'm a huge fan of, of Weekend Update and your stuff on Weekend Update. So I was I was really excited to. You got to bring that back this season no, sometime, man. It's and, just you, you never finish a sentence. That's all. Right. It's, it's great. Half sentences and then that's it. And you know the the stuff that you do the the Garth and Cat and the and, and that one. It, it, you know you would think that you were uh, trained in 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 Adler, but really i mean you guys are just both musicians who kind of stumbled upon the the whole comedy thing really pretty much it's awesome I, yeah got very lucky mm-hmm. love it love it well you guys uh the new season of um portlandia premieres on ifc january 6th the tour when do uh did our tickets on sale right now sold out jeez That's now i can't good. go and uh I, we're we're just so excited. We we think we're really happy that you guys have kind of lifted the national uh, spotlight on Portland a little bit. And obviously, Fred, I'm a huge SNL fan, so appreciate you guys coming in. And uh, yeah, thanks for having Best us. of luck on season two and uh, in the in the live show and and uh, enjoy yourselves. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks. More applause. Thank Fred you. and Carrie, yeah, more applause. All Woo! right. All the hits. Z100.